E3 gave us some new Pokemon Sword and Shield info, so let's talk about it, Pokemon Masters. Join me, here on Comic Universe. What up guys, it's Jay here from Mr. Views for the Comic Universe, and welcome to the web's first must-see comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to the Comic Universe, as I said, and as you can see here, I'm riding solo here on this video. And I am here to talk about the brand new info we got for Pokemon Sword and Shield from Nintendo's E3 presentation or their Nintendo Direct slash Nintendo Treehouse segment. So I know what you're probably thinking. Jay, what are you doing, man? You're slacking. It's late. <laughs> you know, that Sword and Shield stuff came out like a few days ago. What are you doing? You're dropping the ball. Well, you know, I was going to do it right when the info came out like right after the direct dropped and all that other stuff but I had a feeling that a lot of the other dedicated Pokemon fans would find Easter eggs get more bits of information from the little bits and details we saw and I was right to hold out because we got a little bit more information so it gives me a little bit more to talk about. So as you guys know Pokemon is my personal favorite Nintendo franchise. You know I was a 90's baby. I grew up when Pokemania was at its absolute peak and Pokemon Red version was the first video game I ever beat on my own. And so it has a special place in my heart. Charizard will always have a special place in my heart. And so I've always loved this franchise throughout every single incarnation. And yes, that includes Gen 5. I will defend Gen 5 as much as I can because Gen 5 gets a lot of unnecessary hate in my opinion. Now, what did I think of the Pokemon Sword and Shield E3 stuff, you know, the stuff from the Nintendo Direct and from the Nintendo Treehouse segment. Well, first of all, I cannot stress how excited I am for this game. Oh my god. Everything looks absolutely beautiful. I am really excited. I love the look and feel of the Galar region, and I really like the character designs hello professor waifu like look at sonya i was like okay okay got professor assistant waifu up in here all right and we have the introduction to our rival hop or at least one of our rivals who is the younger brother of the champion that's really cool i think that's a cool character arc uh he looks a little smiley so that puts me uh a bit suspicious because you know Game Freak does have that tendency of creating the friendly rivals I mean the past two games have both been with friendly rivals and maybe you know this time they're gonna go with a more Barry approach because if you guys remember Barry from Diamond and Pearl you know he wasn't necessarily mean he was just very high energy and excitable and you know very determined to win and I like that I th if they go that approach with hop I think hop would be really cool but I do think one of our other rivals should be the more antagonistic type of rival that you know it's a satisfying victory when you finally kick their butt so really excited to see what more character stuff we have to offer we got to see a good look at the grass gym which I'm assuming will be the first gym of the region and the gym leader, Milo, who kind of, it looks a little weird because he's like swole as hell, but he has like this baby face. It's like man body, child face, and it's super weird. But, you know, I'll get used to it, I guess. We got to see a little bit of the water gym in the Pokemon Direct or the... Nintendo Direct a little bit as well and also thanks to people playing the demo at E3 we now know two other new Pokemon in the Galar region besides the ones that were revealed in the extended Pokemon Direct which were of course Gossifleur, Eldegoss, Corviknight, 
Dredna and Wulu. Of course, you know, everybody loves Wulu because Wulu's freaking adorable. Like, who wouldn't love Wulu? Like, the internet is going nuts over Wulu. And I personally really dig uh, Gothifleur and Eldegoss, especially Eldegoss. And of course, Corviknight looks really dope. I'm hoping that's our regional bird because I always make it kind of a priority to catch the regional bird on at least my first playthrough of a new generation. So I'm excited for Corviknight. That's going to be pretty dope. And Dreadnought looks really, really cool. I really am interested in catching Dreadnought. It looks pretty awesome design-wise. I'm liking all the design variety all throughout the region with the different Pokemon and such. And I like how they emphasize all throughout like the Pokemon Direct and in the E3 stuff how integrated Pokemon are into the real world. It kind of gives you that similar sort of Detective Pikachu-esque vibe. I think that's really cool. I really dig it. Um, and, of course, the big thing that they showed off at E3 is the wild area. And I am really excited because I've always wanted to be able to control the camera in a Pokemon game. I know that seems really small, like a very simple feature, but like there's just something about like Pokemon games, man. Like being able to control the camera like opens up a whole new world. You know, not to quote the Johto theme song, but like, I think it's really cool. It looks very like Breath of the Wild-esque. It has all like just a bunch of different terrains, the changing weather conditions. I like that like the different Pokemon that spawn there will change from the time of day. And I like that also they appear in the overworld, very similar to the like the Let's Go games. Now, I don't know if they still incorporate the same catching mechanic. Uh, personally, I want them to still um, have it at least be an option where like when after you battle and you go to catch, you can use like the Pokeball Plus and toss the ball yourself because I think that's still really cool. Like I, I would like to do that, but you know, if they, if they save that for Let's Go games, that's fine. But you know, I'm really excited. This trailer looked really cool all the footage looked really dope i cannot wait for sword and shield man and plus uh like i said with the demo we got the new pokemon or at least two new pokemon revealed which were yamper and impidimp and impidimp looks to be a dark fairy i'm assuming it looks like it i don't know if that's been confirmed yet by anybody on twitter or anything like that but impidimp looks like a dark fairy it's like an imp pokemon i think it looks pretty interesting it's probably going to evolve into something cool and yamper finally we have a corgi pokemon now everybody and their mom was calling it like you know if it's a region based on the uk more specifically england they are going to make a Corgi Pokemon. And they did. They made a Corgi Pokemon. It's an electric Corgi. It's going to be pretty adorable. I think it looks pretty cute. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of like the rounded design or whatever. But I like it a lot. It definitely looks like it would make a good plushie. And I'm sure it evolves into something cool later on. And I think it would be interesting if like this is apparently like the Pika clone replacement. You know how usually each region has kind of a Pika clone, which is usually like an electric rodent of some kind? Maybe they change it up, and in this region, it's not an electric rodent, it's an electric doggo! Who'd be mad at an electric doggo? Um, but that's pretty interesting. I'm super excited about that. And also, we got a pretty good look at the Max Raid battles, which I'm really excited for, because I mean, come on! Giant! kaiju sized pokemon like i know like people who still play pokemon go are all about like the raids and stuff and i'm sure that, like you know that's nothing new for them but i stopped playing go a long time ago as i'm sure a lot of you have but like man i am super hyped for these raids and finally we get some co-op action in pokemon i'm glad that pokemon's finally embracing more expansive multiplayer elements besides the usual trades and battles i think that's really cool 
Again, character customization's coming back, so super hyped for that as well. Hopefully it's more than an X and Y, because X and Y was very disappointing when they introduced the concept of character customization, but didn't really do anything with it. Again, I just cannot like stress enough how hyped I am for this game, man. Oh, we get a brand new Pokemon adventure. And let's address the uh, Don fan in the room real quick about uh, something that Masuda mentioned towards the end of the Nintendo Treehouse segment for Pokemon. So he talked about the new Pokemon Home service, which is basically going to replace Pokemon Bank in 2020. So in this kind of speech about it, he talked about how in Sword and Shield, you will not be able to transfer over any Pokemon that aren't in the Galar decks. So that means that, you know, there will be kind of a cutoff to which Pokemon you can actually bring into Sword and Shield. Now, I know a lot of people are upset about that. A lot of people are like having a massive outcry about why is there no national decks, blah, blah, blah. But personally, I am all for this because I think this is Game Freak taking what they wanted to do in Gen 5 and improving on it, right? Actually perfecting it. So with Gen 5, I thought it was a really cool concept to have a whole new region based on a whole different part of the world where you get all fresh, brand new Pokemon. Like, nothing you've ever seen before. And I thought that was really cool, and it brought some really good designs. Now, granted, there are also a bunch of lazy designs, but that's for every Pokemon game, really. And I think what they're doing here is that concept, but expanding it even more. And it makes it make a lot more sense. So the big flaw with Gen 5 and its, you know, region of all Unovan Pokemon and, you know, no old school or previous generation Pokemon is just that, right? So yeah, a lot of the new Pokemon are cool, but you have to admit, older fans will miss some of the classics. And so not being able to have some of the previous generation Pokemon that you've grown to love, it definitely hurts. And completely cutting that off was definitely a mistake on Game Freak's part. But I think with this, we've seen in the wild area that there are previous generations of Pokemon. Lucario has been shown. The Evolutions have been confirmed. They've been shown. Um, Pokemon like um, Axew and Haxorus and different things like that. Leon, the champion of the region, his signature Pokemon seems to be a Charizard, so we know the Kanto starters will likely be around. And that means, more than likely, they would probably have access to all the other starters from the other regions so at least we'll get the starters i think this is just more of a thing so that competitive battling for this generation will be more balanced and like that way the metagame is shifted and into a different direction so that like you're not just seeing teams full of greninjas and toxapex and freaking landorus i'm tired of seeing landorus sorry let me let me stop venting my frustrations but yeah overall I honestly think it's a really good decision and I'm, I'm happy that Game Freak is doing this and I really enjoyed everything they had to show for Pokemon Sword and Shield and once again I cannot wait November 15th cannot get here fast enough I'm so excited but let me know what you guys thought about all the Sword and Shield info from E3 in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to leave this video a like to let us know you enjoyed it. And if you like what we do here and you want to see more from us, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to join the universe today. Um, that way, you'll be notified every time myself, DPZ, or C Dubs upload a new video. Because we've got a whole wide variety of content here on the universe. So I'm pretty sure there's a little something for everybody. In the outro card, I will leave linked our latest upload, as well as a video YouTube's mysterious algorithm thinks you might like, which I hope you do. And until next time, guys, this is Jay from Mysterious Reviews for the Comic Universe, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time in the universe. Gotta catch them all. Peace.